Welcome back. I know it's been a while, but I've been busy and you will see the fruits of that labor soon. Today we're going to look at the desktop UI, which was released in IMC 7.2 in December of 2015. So this is a new way to manage all the features that you love, but actually be able to have it the way that you want to see it. So the old way is still there. So if you don't want to change, you don't have to. That's totally fine. They've left the old management experience alone. But I encourage you guys to try it out. You know those situations where you hit where you're in IMC and you want to see two things at once, like maybe the traps and the alarms for, for a specific device at the same time? Well, you can do that now. So give it a try and, um, you know, let us know what you think. So when you log into IMC, you'll see the same old interface you've always seen. Right, but you're going to have this additional button here called desktop, which you can click to select the desktop interface. So you could go straight in from here, but we're going to show you also how to get in there from the classic interface. So you can really go back and forth at any time, which is kind of nice. So if you look at the top up here, you've actually got this desktop button, which I can click on, which will take me over to the desktop view. Again, you're going to have the ability to go back and forth, but you'll now see the desktop view. And as you can see, this is just an HTML5 desktop. So this is really reminiscent to me of, of any of you who have seen the Synology um, NAS, home NAS product. Um, it's kind of nice that you've got multiple desktops here, which we can scroll through. All right, each one can be completely customized however you want to see it. And then we've got individual widgets, which should look really familiar to those of you who have looked and uh, managed through IMC before. So in this case here, we've got real-time alarms. And we can set up maybe uh, a little desktop for ourselves to be able to look at an individual alarm. Maybe I want to look at the alarm, I want to look at the devices, I want to look at the traps that have arrived recently. And so all of these individual widgets are exactly what you would normally see in the active page, the central page within IMC. So you're still going to have the ability to query and all those things that you would see, but without the frames, those HTML frames wrapped around it. And all this is active content as usual, so you can click on any of those links and go in, but we're not going to look at that right now. We can scroll through the list. Um, you know, it's just basically, it's the same old information, like I said, but it just gives you a different way, which sometimes all you really need is a new perspective to be able to solve a problem. Sometimes you're just looking at it the wrong way. So it's really nice, um, I think, that they have allowed us to really redo the interface and be able to provide the interface that we want to see. Right, so you've got a lot of different widgets here available as well. If I want to add an application, I can do that. I could go into... Um, widgets for any of the current modules I have installed and as, as always with IMC the more modules you add the more stuff and options you get so in this case you know I could look around and say do I want uh, anything else in here you know in this particular the default um, for working with fault management we've pretty much got everything you want in here but maybe I want to see um, the device view so we're gonna go into resources and we're gonna go over here and look at device view and we're gonna click on the add default view button so we can close this down, now we can click on this. And just like that, the default device view, which we know and love from the IMC interface, is up and running, which is kind of nice. Um, I can go through, scroll through the list, I can look at the alarm state of the devices, I can look at the current real-time alarms, and I can look at the SNMP traps that may have caused those alarms to appear all in the same interface without having to click around back and forth. Kind of cool. I think so. Um, you may not enjoy it. You may actually have uh, a situation where you, you actually like the traditional interface, you know? We've been in that. It's been been that way for, for a while. You may have developed an affinity to what was already there. Perfect. You can go back, click on the classic interface, and come back into this. Flip back and forth. Manage the way you want to, when you want to. Hope you guys found that interesting. Something to check out. See you guys next time on the next IMC management tutorial.